What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are looking at the brand new New Balance 990 version 5. Here we go. Now, as the game entails, this is the fifth iteration of the 990 sneaker, which originally debuted in 1982 for a price of $100 back then. And at the time, it was one of the most expensive sneakers, not only for New Balance, but for any brand out there. And that was kind of pushing the boundaries of what people wanted to spend on a shoe back then. But what New Balance positioned it as was because of all their technology in the 990 shoe, this was definitely worth the $100 price tag. Now, it did not look like any of the versions that we see today. It looked more like their casual line, like the 574 and other ones like that. Whereas today we think of the 990 as the gray dad shoe kind of sneaker that you see on celebrities like Emily Oberg and things like that. But nonetheless, the version 5 dropped on April the 6th, 2019 for a price of $175 US or up here in Canada, $230 Canadian. Now for a shoe that is not recognized in the hype based culture and a shoe that is extremely comfortable and functional, I think that price tag is definitely worth it. Now I currently own the version 3 of these 990s, which I think are the best version out of them all, which I will get to in a second, and I wear those almost every single day, they are my go-to bigger shoes, but I got these ones to show you guys the main differences between my version, the version 3, and the version 5. I did not think there was a lot of differences between the version 4 and the 5, so I figure i show you what two iterations later shows you in the differences of sneakers that New Balance did to this 990. On the box here, on the front, we do have the American flag in the background with the word made in white plastered on there, and that is because these shoes are one of the only New Balance shoes that are still made in the US, and in fact, not only are they manufactured in the US, 70% of the materials that are used in this shoe are found or are created in the US as well. On the side of the box here, we do have that made in the US for over 75 years branding and then the New Balance logo on the bottom right. And not to mention the entire box is done in a matching gray color to match the color of the shoes. Without further ado, let's open the box. And here is the shoe. Now the entire upper of these shoes is constructed of a mesh and then a pigskin gray suede paneling design with on both sides the outer and the inner side a metallic shiny reflective and New Balance logo, very classic on every New Balance pair of shoes. The laces on these shoes are white, which is pretty classic for pretty much every iteration of the 990 sneaker. One of the main differences on the version 5 is that on the side of the shoe, you do have this kind of harder plastic support system here. I'm not really sure how much it does in terms of support, but it is definitely a visual feature that differentiates it from the versions before it. Immediately behind that plastic part, you do have the 990 Wings branding, which is pretty much on every iteration. Slightly smaller than on the iteration that I have, the version 3, but it is still there and noticeable. On the bottom of the heel portion of the version 3, you have the entire New Balance wording, while on the version 5, you only have NB, and then you have this double V logo. And for the longest time, I could not figure out what the V V stood for, one V in black, one V in red, and I realized that it stands for version 5, Roman numeral 5, so V, V. That's a really cool add-on because on the version 3, all you have is a red embossed New Balance logo and then the words made in the US. That's still cool enough, but I like the fact that if you see these, you know it's the version 5. The entire tongue of the shoe is comprised of this very thick mesh material with an embossed American flag and then made in the US logo there, and then underneath it, immediately stamped on, is 990 version 5. Comparing that to the version 3 that I have, it's more of a plasticky grid finished tongue with the word New Balance in red and then USA in a gray color. The midsole of both the version 3 and the version 5 are very similar. They both feature the end cap midsole or entire sole technology. The look of it is very, very slightly different, but again, that's just because times change and they update the look of it. But I have to say, this is one of the most comfortable shoes you will ever wear, whether you are running and exercising in them or as a casual everyday piece. 
and the outsole of these shoes is just a basic black, white, gray rubber outsole, not too much grip or traction, but again, this is a running shoe, so nice and minimal. Now, these shoes do run true to size, and then one step further than that, they come in a regular width and a wide width, so if you know that you have wide feet or regular feet width, you can go for the correct shoe for you, and then any size is pretty much true to size from there. But enough of me talking about the shoes, let's get them on the feet and see what they look like in action. Here we go. you guys I hope you guys like the review of the new new balance 99 new version 5 if you did please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to comment down below what you liked about this video and what you did not i apologize for the boxing set here we are still in the process of moving we are moving in a couple months but until then you have to bear with me with this kind of ugly set behind me so i apologize for that but i will catch you guys in the next one peace